Howdy, I'm Daniel with Rawls and Regs, and welcome to a tie-dye cross tutorial. I have a 100% cotton shirt that has been soaked in a soda ash solution, and it is damp. I use a washable marker to mark the bottom corners of the shirt so I can separate the front from the back. I'll put one sleeve into the other sleeve. On the front half of the shirt, I use a ruler to mark one foot, and then I'll divide that into thirds. The top of the cross will be four inches, the side arms of the cross will be four inches, and the bottom section of the cross will be eight inches. After I fold those together, I will fan fold those along the center line, and I'll bind that up with artificial sinew. I'll use a little bit more artificial sinew a little bit down to keep the fabric away from the cross. I do a crinkle fold or a scrunch fold for the rest of the shirt, starting with the sleeve and working my way through the shirt. And I try not to get any of the fabric to overlap the rest of the fabric. I use rubber bands to bind the folds that I just put in place, and if I need to, I will refold the sections if I think that they need it. I'm using Procyon MX Fiber Reactive Dye to dye the cotton. I put black on the main section of the cross, and then working my way out, I'll put some red down right next to the cross, and then I will put some orange down next to that, and for the orange, I'm only putting it on one side, and now I'm using yellow along the rest of the design. I want the yellow to saturate the shirt completely, so I'll put on a bunch on this side, and I'll turn it over and I'll put on some more yellow, and then I will squeeze it to try and make sure that it's going all the way through the cotton. Then I'll put down a little bit of orange on both sides, a little bit of red, not as much as the orange, and then just a little bit of black. This will sit in a plastic bag for 24 hours before washing it out. Thanks for watching. Have fun dying.